Hello and welcome to this, the brand new Lexus ES. Combining sharp lines, ultimately the new style grill, and packed with technology, the new ES promises to be more sporty, more dynamic, and ultimately more advanced than ever before. Now in its seventh generation, or here in South Africa, the second generation, I'm here on launch to drive the ES250 EX, as well as this, the range topping ES300H with a hybrid electric power. So let's get inside, see what the new car has to offer, drive them, and ultimately get a feel for Lexus's new vehicle. Before even setting off, I think it's important to take note of this Lexus interior space. Much in keeping with its sharp exterior, the sharp lines, the new grille, the interior is beautiful. A culmination of fantastic grade materials, high quality leathers, different grades of wood, and also different even types of texture of leather which are unique to the ES, ultimately make up what is a driver focused, more dynamic and sporty cabin, but also very futuristic in its layout. Very much like a shrunken down version of the large luxury LS500, you get a similar instrumentation binnacle and ultimately multimedia system at the center. It's all controlled through this trackpad style display. Takes a bit of getting used to, but ultimately encompasses a lot of clever technology. In this case, the ES300H, it is completely kitted out. It's got the large 12.3 inch display, the lovely Lexus analog clock, the full driver digital instrumentation cluster, you've got your different drive modes on the stalk here, and ultimately even brilliant Mark Levinson sound. This car certainly is top notch. And if you can't already hear the engine, that's because I'm in the ES300H here. It is hybrid, of course, so silent, smooth power to pull off. I think it's time to get on the road and experience what this all new ES model is really like to drive. It's really out here on the road when you're driving along windies, twisties, potholed streets that you can feel that this all new Lexus ES model is ultimately more dynamic and driver focused than ever before. Thanks to the way it's been tuned, the body which is longer, wider, and ultimately the larger profiles, it's just a sleeker, more coupe-like design on the outside and what is a much more driver orientated and dynamic car to drive. During the launch I've driven both the ES250 EX as well as this, the ES300H. Both of them have a two and a half liter inline four cylinder petrol motor, except with this, the ES300H. It's also got the electric component. And I must say, it is amazing. When you pull off, you get the spookily quietness, the ultimate grandeur, but actually you also get a lot of power and fuel economy figures here, which Lexus claim will be as low as 4.6 liters per 100. With our rising fuel prices, you can easily see that it's the way to go. And ultimately, I think this Lexus ES provides a great alternative to the likes of the German and Triumphant, the likes of the BMW 5 Series, Mercedes E-Class, and Audi A6. Lexus really have pulled off a car here, which is beautifully elegant to look at, sharp and dynamic to drive, and ultimately encompasses what the brand stands for, their slogan, experience, amazing. From me, Jason of Technobock, this has just been a quick look at the Lexus ES straight off its SA Media launch. Until next time, I'll see you guys soon. Cheers for now. Technobuck.